And I want to commend you for um, just keeping that fire and uh, remaining strong. We believe in you out there. We know that um, it is only because it is only um, this college that can come up with great people like us, like you. So you are not you are not in the wrong place. You are in the best place ever that you can be able to achieve your dreams. I wish you the best in the run and in this race, everybody is a winner. Thank you. It's not about position, guys. It's about finishing and it's about uh,
Kala chinonga kisome isaye Doza delipe di tuize inuma Uma na watandi katyo Yamba opu na chayenda Beijo kusalu ndi ibanji Beijo kukula matafali Buzo we chalani Owe gejo we visiko wafuna kuresi Azira wali tiba mwese mbeleza Mwana wikwena kukotia Yes, I'm good. I'm very good. I'm bad. I'm a fool. 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 I'm a Sawa ya kufungiza tufeyo Sawa ya kufungiza Dr. Christine, and uh, I'm so happy that uh, I'm back home. Today we had a run, running for Wairaka, as you can see. It's a run for Wairaka. You know, MWM College, I was in MWM College, 99-2002, uh, and it has been, uh, yeah, we have been coming back, and, uh, you know, to see the, the glory of our school. And uh, we are so 
glad that today we were joined by uh, uh, our OB, who is the world champion. Uh, he flagged us off to, you know, for this run. A success story of Wairaka, I think uh, the thing that I would miss so much in Wairaka is uh, the farming. We used to have a big farm and we used to enjoy the milk, the beef, we, we had even butter here from uh, Wairaka College Farm. So it is not here because uh, yeah, the government has not, been, has not done so much to keep this going, yet Wairaka is the only agricultural school still found in Uganda. The only school with the new curriculum of a uh, government system. So we, we, we call upon the government of Uganda to look back at what Wairaka used to be. Because it's the only school that where you can get uh, on hand, on hand teaching, like uh, practicals. Yeah, 1988 when I came here as a young man in senior one, uh, to remind you, in my class we are 422, that is senior one. We had a class, class uh, stream A, stream B and stream C, each having about 120 something, 160 students. By the time I left in my year, 1991, the class had 330 students, senior four. And over time, the numbers have gone down. Uh, the reasons uh, we may not fully understand, but there have been a number of bit of mismanagement from the, 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 the heritageers who were here. I think uh, uh, what could have happened between now, between that time and now, the infrastructure, many of the structures, many of the dormitories are uh, beyond repair, and that alone could have discouraged the students from coming here. But also, we are looking at uh, by doing this. We, in terms of the numbers, currently we have about 500 students, uh, very small compared to the, the challenges in terms of maintenance, in terms of infrastructure development which we have. So the developing is one to improve the infrastructure, develop, to improve the infrastructure, and also management in terms of the school management, and also in terms of uh, the student enrollment. You know, once the, the leadership also changed. There were many hands of head teachers that came aboard yeah. that affected the impact of students, of course, the performance. Once the performance drops, parents will not bring their children here. And you know many administrators come with their own targets. There are those that are money makers, there are those that are after growing the institution. So I believe Madame Hilda is good enough to grow, to grow the institution. We can have the children come back. But there's also nothing better than making the home better than the way you left it. So I'm very excited today because the old students have come in large numbers, they have made contributions, uh, contributions towards the students, they have bought us TVs, they have bought us the games uniform, balls, and yet in addition to that they are doing fundraising to continue with the work they have been doing, renovating laboratories, uh, washrooms, libraries, they are doing a lot of work. And I would like to thank the old students for the commitment that they have shown and the love for the school that have made them what they are. Succeed, you don't need to have everything, but you need to have the mind to succeed. And so having a tractor alone is not enough, but having the will to do the gardening. We may not have a tractor right now, but we have plowed all our gardens. There are very many people out there who can give us tractors. The foundation body quite often gives us tractors. When their tractors are still busy with the, their sugarcane gardens, we also get people out there who have tractors. And we hire the tractors and we plow all our gardens and make sure we make the best out of them. And right now, all our gardens are having crops in them. And we treasure our gardens. Mal Dubai, Wairaka is in crisis today. How, what is it that we can do to bring it up to the competitive level we wish it to get to? Like I told you, my story actually began from here. Here in this school, this is where I determined that I should become a lawyer who should be helping as many people as possible. This is where I determined who should be my husband, my future husband. And that our name Okiria added to me was obtained from the hill over there. Hey. The story began 
from here. Mm. On that island, they're saying you go and try to run also. You're just dragging yourself. I saw them on the road. They said they're doing the way Raka run. I saw some people in Bugembe, energy is gone. <laughs> it was so hot. It was so hot. So be disciplined with your education and every opportunity that comes your way. Be fruitful and disciplined to make the most of everything at your disposal. Choose to live differently. Personally, I chose to live differently. It is now recently where some people like the Christians have started fishing me out and say, come, 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 you are the OG of this of this great college. Come and be there also. Make friends that inspire you. Friends that propel you. There are people who make useless friends who go to do waragi and steal sugar cane or in the Madhivani gardens and so on. Make friends who will make a difference in your life. It was an examination of what was happening in our great college. We were looking at the broken walls of some of the structures we benefited from. I looked at my house and it is in ruins and that was Choga House. Choga, oh yeah? Oh yeah! Excellent. Choga House, the walls are crumbled down. It is in ruins. I looked at the sick bay, needs revamping. I looked at some structures still having the old asbestos of long ago. I looked at the field. I looked at the street. Bokasa, I see products of Bokasa Street here. <laughs> Friends, we need to do something. When you look at crisis, crisis opens up our minds to rethink, to re-strategize, and to plan a way forward. What do you do when you're no longer needed? For example, COVID happened and many people lost their jobs. What did you do to keep yourself relevant? Crisis of life sometimes makes you feel abandoned, rejected. Like I was looking at the numbers, I asked the head teacher, what is the total of the students we have today in this school? And she told me, I was like, hey, but the capacity of this school, we can have more, more numbers of students in this school. What is it that we can do to enable us to have more numbers, friends? How can we handle this crisis in our great college, Wairaka College? Maldubai <laughs> Madvan. Excellent. The world is in crisis. A crisis is a circumstance that just happened and you have no control over. You have got to do some sacrifices here in this college. We, the alumni, can do something, but we are banking on you. If you sit for UCE or USCE, or whatever it is, and you come out stars, everybody, the whole world, will want to bring their children to this school. And that will be a plus for us. It will be so easy for us to mobilize. We will get a new boost of new parents coming up to support the college. I hope you are not here to grow. We expect excellence from you. And excellence calls for distinctiveness on your part. What is it that you can do to be unique and different? Excellence is not about standing around with this boy on Bokasa Street or, you know, moving around the college with swag. No, it's about hard work on your part as students. Thank you, my God, thank you today. Oh, oh yeah. And I thank you tomorrow. Another day, another blessing When I lose my job and
I know tomorrow will be better I thank you God 